Eleanor Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi. These are just a few of the people who spent time in this incredible home. Right now, we are in a house that was originally built in 1873. It's called the Eleanor, because it was the home of Eleanor Roosevelt, who championed and cheered for some of the most incredible public figures, some of the biggest disruptors of our time in this home. 12 rooms, four full bedrooms, five gorgeous bathrooms. This home has historical provenance, the likes of which I've never seen. And we show a lot of New York City townhouses. This is a true piece of art. It is a sight to behold. I cannot wait to show it to you. Over five floors, every inch has been carefully thought through. So let's get started. So let's start here in the courtyard because wow. Now this is a classic townhouse lot, the 211 East 62nd Street. So you are in the heart of it all, in the beating pulse of the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Walking distance to the best shops, the best restaurants, Central Park, and easy access everywhere to the FTR, gets to your place in the Hamptons, the airports, etc. But it all starts here because I'm imagining you right now at your first dinner party here. This is a 100 foot lot. We have nearly 50 feet in the courtyard. This is more than just a backyard. I mean, look at this. Look at the ivy, the brickwork. I mean, this is palatial by definition. The entire backyard landscape design was done by the Roger Miller, and you can tell because it is nothing short of perfect. So this is where I wanted to start because it is one huge, massive, and if you wanted to have a playground here for kids, total privacy, these retaining walls are humongous. I've never actually seen anything like it in the city. Like I'm six foot three, look, look, I mean. Do you, the, I, you get it. All right, let's go inside. Now we're inside. See, I told you what you're about to experience. You know how many white on white houses with wide plank, white oak floors we sell? And they're all fine, but they're dated years later because everyone does the same thing. What they don't do is what I'm showing you now. These are Verde marble floors. The labor cost alone to create this pattern throughout the entirety of this parlor floor is OMG. The entire living room here, and we're on the parlor floor, so this is our first living space, is wall-to-wall -wall mahogany. We have a New World coffered ceiling, which I just think is beautiful. And again, outside you're having your dinner party, and here you're having your first glass of red wine or you're watching a movie, or you're watching a game. You've got a disappearing TV on this wall. You've got plenty of space for storage, liquor. I mean, look at this mantle. And then this room leads into the remainder of the parlor. The mahogany carries all the way through your entry foyer where we find ourselves now. You've got this gorgeous, I would say weaving staircase that takes you upstairs. It's really, really, really pretty spectacular. I love this wallpaper throughout. And this is the type of wallpaper too, that by the way, it's inspired by 17th century art that, I mean, you could take down and sell because it is so hard to find. I told you the house is called the Eleanor. We have this amazing article here showing Eleanor here in the house. There's even letters that we have, look at this. Mrs. Franklin D. Roosevelt, June 14th, 1954. Really looking forward to her, her trip around the world. It's pretty fun. It's very, very cool. Very cool. Again, this is a piece of art. Your access to your elevator, lots of closet space. The storage space in this house is incredible. The cellar space is amazing. And then look at the entrance. 
Look at this. This is your entryway. Coming off of the street, you're greeted by this incredible, oh my God, it's like a vault. It is so, like this is real brass. Real brass, it's mirrored, it's incredible. So tons of security, but also just so cool. You have a brass, amazing chandelier, and then you have individual pieces of onyx that are perfectly cut and inlaid and took them forever to place it into the floor here to kind of create this beautiful medallion that welcomes you into the home. We have a smaller kitchen off to the side, lots more to go through, but let's go upstairs. The second floor is our entertaining, our dining floor. So we've got this incredible dining room here with a gorgeous round table. I love a great round table. The core is great too, because the house is nearly 20 feet wide. And so you've got this amazing elevator that takes you across all floors. You've got a beautiful powder room, really, really gorgeous millwork throughout. Crema marble, but it's bordered with the Verde marble we have downstairs, including these diamonds throughout the floor. And then you've got this really, really cool Juliet balcony that looks out over your backyard. So again, if you have somebody who wants to have a cigar after dinner or just your ability to open up these beautiful doors, these French doors to be able to step outside, I think is really, really special. And then this is your chef's kitchen. It's fully eaten. You can close it off or you can keep it open all day long. Look at these details, look at this tile. Look at this stove. I mean, wow. And this is how you entertain JFK. Like this is how you entertain like the dignitaries of the world. It's just so, so cool. It is super cool. Even little details like this for all the copper pots and pans that you would hang around. If you are a chef, you will love this home. This is the main family kitchen, but you have another kitchen that's downstairs as well. Now you can obviously make this all modern if you want to, but like this is a restaurant grade refrigerator and freezer. This is a restaurant level amazing stove with fully tiled exhaust. You have a trash compactor, everything you could possibly need. I think it's really, really magnificent. Now to our primary floor. Before I show you the actual bedroom, I have to show you my bathroom here because I don't even, I mean, come on. How cool is this? Look at this clawfoot soaking tub that has been converted to also be a shower. Like, I mean, look at these handles. Look at this. If you would like to set it for plunge, you can set it to plunge. Shower, if you just want to have fun with the spray, you can do that. This is the coolest thing I have ever seen. You have this amazing fireplace. The symmetry in the house, by the way, is incredible. This gorgeous wallpaper. I feel like I'm in Ralph Lauren's bathroom. The mahogany transfers over to cherry as we get up to this floor. Important detail, incredible stonework throughout across all of the vanity space. And then like, look at the shower. Open up this brass door. And can you squeeze in with me here? Look at this. I mean, I take my first shower in here and then I go do the fun shower out there. And then opposite that incredible bathroom, you have your foyer landing space for the primary floor with an amazing wet bar, more storage space, and then this gorgeous cherry millwork wrapped primary bedroom suite with these incredible stained glass windows, but we also have city windows put in, so it is super, super quiet. I mean, just listen. I think you just hear birds being happy. These Upper East Side birds, they're well taken care of, by the way. Like, if I was a bird, I'd probably want to live on the Upper East Side too. And then we go upstairs. The fourth floor has two additional bedrooms that are both fully en suite. Great ceiling heights, amazing, amazing spaces. We've got these original parquet floors. Like you would have to go to a special purveyor of parquet to try to get these 
if you wanted it, but you have them here. An incredible stone mantle and fireplace. What I love about this, look at these stained glass windows. Like you just don't get this anywhere. And no one in their right mind would build a new house and do these just because of the cost, just because of the cost. The color is amazing. And then the bathroom, look at this, look at the bathroom. Through the pocket door, we then have this incredible bathroom and the same character of bronze that we saw in our entryway. And that gives us amazing glimpses throughout the house. The story has continued. We've got these amazing archways, the marble and everything. It's just, it's so fun. And we have these dual sinks. So this could be a junior primary if you wanted it to be. And then the roof caps it off. Talk about fun. We have this amazing ping pong table that's up here, completely covered. So you can have all the ping pong fun you want, but this is also an outdoor, you know, al fresco market. It could be, it could be anything. You could have outdoor dinners up here. You have the entire roof deck. It's amazing. This incredible slate roof and you have incredible exposures looking right down towards Central Park this way. We've got Central Park Tower, 520 Park, the Time Warner Center. We're right on top of the Upper East Cafe. You've got everything you could possibly need here. This is the Eleanor at 211 East 62nd Street. Five floors of history but so, so prepared for today. I cannot wait to show you this house. Thank you so much for watching.